I'm Craig Kenneth, a relationship coach and a psychotherapist. Every relationship is different and every breakup is different. Work with me and you'll get professional help on your situation. And if you're in no contact, focused on personal growth, my workbook series, The Knowledge, will help you make changes like you've never made before. Available now at AskCraig.net. Hi there, I'm Coach Craig Kenneth. I'm Coach Margaret. And today we're going to be talking about I blew my second chance. Oh no. Well, a lot of times when you're going through a breakup, you're wanting desperately to get that second opportunity, another chance with your ex to show them you've changed. And what happens for many of you guys is you really don't do what it takes to make long-lasting change. I have found that what many of you guys do is you'll work on yourself for maybe three or four months and then you go back to your old ways. Life becomes more routine again. Maybe you start dating other people and you say, I'm not going to worry about my ex anymore. And you go back to your old ways, your old behavior, and next thing you know, your ex comes back and you're not ready because you never really believed they were coming back. Maybe they said, I'm never going to come back. I'm never going to give you another chance. People say that, but that doesn't mean they don't come back. And I try and get you guys to see that and articulate that to you guys because I see it all the time. Not only that, the change ultimately has to be for you. If you can start the growth process for the sake of your ex, great. Start anywhere you can, mm -hmm. but it's got to be ultimately for you. Yeah. I really believe that if you want the long-lasting change, it's going to take probably nine months to a year. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I hear, well, I'm changed. It took me um, three or four months. No. Did you go to therapy? No. But I haven't had these problems again. And one of the things that frustrates me is I'm like, you need to get yourself a local therapist. Trust me on this. It's going to help your chances. The ex comes back, and one of the first things they've said to that guy who maybe had, you know, some right. issues is, did you go to therapy? Like you said you were going to. No, I didn't. Or I went once. Yep. And next thing you know, your ex walks out the door for good. It happens, guys. It happens, you yeah. got to treat this like you're going to get one opportunity. Don't act like you have many opportunities to turn it around. Some of you might get a few more opportunities. But you want to treat it like you're only going to get one. That's right. And then you're going to be in the best position to turn things around. Okay. Okay. So do you have a... I have a story that story? I wanted to share. Okay. And they said, Dear Coach, this is my first coaching session. I am currently on volume three in the workbooks. Awesome. Oh, good for him. Uh, it was. This is based on a couple in their mid-20s. And they dated for just under five years, and they lived together, okay? Wow. So, so they were young when they started. Yeah. Yeah. So they said, or he said, after going through the workbooks, I've learned that I have an avoidant attachment style, and she has an anxious attachment style. Okay. It was really difficult for me to show affection, and I would often push her away whenever we argued. Whenever she tried to be affectionate, I would often keep her at arm's distance away. I would always avoid letting her in my heart in the fear of getting hurt. Oh. I know I sabotage my own relationship because all she ever wanted was love and affection. Trust was always an issue early in the relationship. I broke that trust when she caught me on dating apps while we were together. I had a guy today that got caught on dating apps. Yeah. Um, guys, if you go on the dating apps and you start talking to people and they find out, it's really going to come and blow up in your face. And that goes for you ladies too. I'm not just meaning sure, the guys. it isn't just guys who do Believe that. me, guys are going to be just as upset yeah. if you ladies do it. Okay? Yeah. yeah. But I found that more guys get caught doing that than women. Does that mean that women hide it better? Maybe. 
I, I can't think of too many women that have gotten caught with the dating I can't apps. either, and I can think of several guys. Yeah, I can think uh, of several guys. Up and there. one of them even started to give me a story, and I said, don't bother, I'm old, I've been around too long. He said, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes they won't be honest with you at first, and you got to call them out. Yeah. Well, you just know I've been around too long, yeah. Uh, the relationship was difficult because she always thought I was cheating on her, and how could you blame her? Yeah, how unreasonable of her. You know, you were on dating apps. In 2017, I broke up with her and she moved back home. I soon realized I made a mistake and I wanted her back. Think about what he just said right there. I soon realized I made a mistake and I wanted her back. See? We tell you all the time that people revisit the idea That's of right. getting back together. In Absolutely. that first breakup, yep. he broke up with her and he realized it was a mistake and wanted her back. Yep. I managed to get her back and convinced her and myself that I changed. But that was far from the truth. Yeah. I visited her at the end of 2017 and she moved back with me in the beginning of this year. The first few months were great, but towards the end, I went back to my old ways and I noticed she was start, or she started to become more distant. I didn't do the work and I didn't change. Guys, it's like anything else. If you want to be successful, you have to work hard at it. Doing it for a little bit is not going to change you in the long run. And you must see this all the time. Oh, all the time, yeah. I've, I talked to a guy the other day who told me he had changed in three months, and I said, let me break it to you gently. No, you haven't. You may be aware of the problems. Yeah, and that's a great step. Mm -hmm. Yeah, It is, but that doesn't mean you're going to continually uh, make the effort to consistently implement new behavior and new changes. It takes a long time. It does, and a lot of awareness. In early September, we had the talk and she said she was tired of all this and just wanted to be happy. Well, did she know he was on the dating sites again? Apparently. No, I don't think so. This was that they, he said he went back to his old behavior. He didn't say the dating sites, but he did say old behavior. Old behavior. Uh, I begged for her not to leave, but I told her that I love her enough to let her go. Okay. Recently, I've been more active on Instagram, which probably resulted in her unfriending me. That does happen. Uh, I like to, you know, people ask me for a set way yeah. to act on yeah. uh, dating apps or not dating apps, but, you know, the social media apps like Instagram, Facebook, stuff like that. And I don't like to give that because even that is a very unique situation mm -hmm. where I might not have said I want you to post a lot. Sometimes it's better to post very little. It just depends upon what's going on there. So in his situation, he posted too much and then she unfriended him. She didn't want to see his updates anymore. I started doing no contact and laying off social media. I do respond to her text, but lately she's been silent. But that's a good news that at least she's reaching out, right? Because yeah, she has been. Yeah. Right. She's been silent lately, but she was reaching out. Currently, I'm trying to become the best version of myself and actually do the work. I continue to do the workbooks, going back to church, community service, working out, getting ready for a, let's say, a work exam. I don't want to say what it is because it'll give his career away and beginning to start my own company in the near future. The two biggest problems were trust and a lack of affection due to my attachment style. This time around, it feels like I lost her for good. Is there any hope in getting her back? Well, I would say that there certainly could be hope for this situation yeah. mm -hmm. because she's been reaching out to you, right? Now, you said lately, it's been less, but that doesn't mean she won't reach out because she's shown you that she's willing to do it, even since the breakup. Mm -hmm. Yes, she has. So I would say, keep working on yourself and act like you're only gonna get one more chance. 
Guys, you got to put yourself on probation. Ladies, too. I keep saying guys. Yes, it can Late. be women as well. Yeah. <laughs> you sure. have to put yourself yeah. on probation and understand that being aware that there's a problem is a great first step. Continually implementing different behavior to show that you can change is a completely different story. One of the things that we don't hear here, it's not clear to me, is if he's been really clear with her verbally mm -hmm. that he owns his behavior and is acknowledging why she was upset. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Do you? No. I can't really tell from He here. didn't say from this. Yeah, but if he hasn't, that would be very important. Certainly, um, when when the time was right. Yeah. And, and yeah, and don't say and what's the big deal anyway if I did these things. Yeah. Be careful of that. Well, I think he's at the point where he's really owned up to. I think so. Too. I had my second chance, yeah. and okay. I blew it. I made a mistake, and now he's beating himself up. So often, I see people that they don't take the first chance seriously. Like they think. I can get another opportunity or they don't really think about it they just do and then this happens and now they're really motivated to change right. when if you were really motivated to change from the get-go you may have not been in this situation right so guys I always try and help you see that if you look at it like you only get one, one more chance. opportunity yeah. then you're gonna put yourself in the best position for success yeah. because you don't know when that day is gonna happen could be a day a week, a month, three months, six months. I had somebody reach out after, get this, Margaret, 28 years. 28 years? 28 years. Somebody sent me a, a message, an email, that their ex came back after 28 years. Wow. I, I've I, heard those stories, too. In fact, I just heard one this week. My parents got back together after, you know, 20 odd years. Yeah. Yeah. So people come back all the time. And if you go back to your old behavior, they're gonna see it right away. They're gonna see right through who you've become or your old patterns. I mean, sometimes they will see it in the first interaction. And people will test you. People are going to test to see if you go back to those old ways, because they wanna know, okay, if I do this again, this is what used to set him off, or this is what used to bother her. And then you do it, you know what? You haven't changed. Well, discuss it before you do it that way. It's the other thing. Talk about it before you do some test. Say, you know, I'm concerned about blah, 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 behavior. I know it was going to be hard for you to give that up. How are you mm -hmm. doing with that? Mm -hmm. Oh, great. I'm fine now. <laughs> yeah. But you you might not be ready for it because if the person is coming back to test this person that's yep. been broken up with, they're not going to get that warning. Yeah, that's right. Not likely. Right. <laughs> they might. Some people might say, you know what? You used to do X, Y, Z. Yeah. And then they test to see if you do X, Y, Z, and then you do it. Well, yeah. And then they're gone. And not only that, I warned you. Yeah. Yeah, I warned you. That's right. So please, guys, understand. Um, every situation is so completely different. Every breakup is different. But if you act as if, and your motivation is if you get one shot, you're going to be a lot more likely to make that shot a home run. Yeah. And, you know, it's very difficult to think. I mean, it's, it's easy to think you can hide things if you're careful enough. Mm -hmm. But it's very hard to hide anything from someone you're intimate with. Yeah. I mean, it's not easy. And it's not a goal because the idea is not to hide things from them. Mm -hmm. It's to share things with them. Okay? No, I think this guy, yeah. I don't think she's done with him. I think she hasn't given up hope yet. I agree. So keep working. Keep focusing on who you want to become. And let's see what happens. Give her some space and some time. And be prepared yep. to show her those changes when the opportunity comes. Right. Okay? So please always be aware that your chance may be slim. Some of you guys won't even get a second chance, which I know sucks. But that's just the reality of, yeah. of it. And we can't tell you that everybody will get a second chance. But even if it's 1%, is that going to stop you from being motivated? I've yet to hear somebody say no. No. Everybody yeah. says yes, yeah, even if do. it's 1%. Yeah, even I'll if it's take 1%, it. I'll take it, yeah. So if you want to get our help personally, just go to my website, askcraig.net. 
sign up for the coaching option that works best for you. I do email coaching and I do Skype. Margaret is available for Skype coaching. Yes, I'm a little more available more quickly than I was. So feel free to, to sign up. I can probably get you in within the week. Just click on Margaret on the top of the website to do that. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel and like the video. That's it for this video. I'm Coach Craig Kenneth. I'm Coach Margaret. And we will talk with you soon.